Hello everybody. This uh, caught my eye. Quite funny that, considering they're glasses and you wear them on your eyes. I was just a bit like, these are supposedly Victorian 4D glasses. Not sure what this is, whether, I don't know if it's, can't be lead, can it? But they had the technology. If they could do this in the 1800s, why did we go backwards? Because we have. They had this technology. They didn't have different kind of glasses, you know, like different colours. It was one colour. Supposing the when glasses were made, and then these would have been made afterwards, but we get these things with red and blue in and paper and plastic. Um, on to the next bit. I was, I'm not sure if I really like any of I just these death photographs. Why would you want that as your last memory of your child? And um, you know, we'd obviously that's supposedly them having a good time. What a good time they're having! I don't know if I really like, I don't really understand that side of pictures that you would want I mean you'd want them alive, I don't, I don't know whether you'd want, anyway there you go that's to show that they could do they could do CGI and all that, there you go let's look at that again there you go, they can do it all the stuff that they couldn't, they could I, I don't, I don't like this part. I mean, who does? Death is a, we don't talk, well, we don't talk about it enough, do we, as people? But why would you want pictures of your beloved ones that have ceased? And I don't know. I don't know if these pictures look that real. Just don't know, I just don't, know if that looks real. Anyway, some old pictures there. I, mean, I do like, well I did like the old pictures, I don't know if I do anymore. That, that does not look real. Their faces have been fitted in, so let's go back to that. That's the same thing as before. They they could CGI everything. Anyway, a few pictures of Queen Victoria before we go on to the next bit, which is Pevensey Castle. So serious. Nothing's happy, is it? Oh yeah, she's smiling there. Whoops, there's a smiling one. But generally, there's no smiling. Anyway, this is Pevensey Castle. I used to live near here when I used to live in Sussex. I grew up, you know, about maybe, that was about five, six miles away from where I lived. Um, we come across a picture in a minute. It says that it's a Roman fort. But it's got brick in it. I uh, showed, um, there it is, see? I showed this to our melted reality on the other one, yesterday's one, and the guy saying that there was no Saxon invasion. There's the brick. And uh, he said he loved the castle with the brick in it. There it is. See, that's yesterday's one with the brick in it. And now we've learnt that they're for storing stuff. I wanted to know when Pevens, well, when they're saying Pevensey Castle was made, and they've got 1066. That's the same time as William the Conqueror, and um, that's what happened at Hastings Castle in one. Um, it says here in use 290, 471, 491, 1066, 16th century, mid 16th century, 1940. To 1945. Hmm. 
So that's when it's saying it was in use. Uh, I just feel that it's the same kind of castle as the Saxon one. So there you go, William the Conqueror. Well, that was 1066, but the Saxon time was before that. So this castle has to be older than what they're saying then because it's got brick in it and so is the one from yesterday that castle had brick in it and it was Saxon so there you go, a little bit more about the Romans well it's their history isn't it and we know their history is not correct yet. so I wanted to look up when the Saxons invaded 410 to 1066 and then this period was called the Dark Ages yeah it's all a bit confusing isn't it really but anyway the Saxon one from yesterday the castle that we were talking about came from this era here okay Saxon invasion rah 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 now we know that's not true but the castles they're saying those ones were made in this time and Pevensey is very similar and it's being said that it's been made in 1066 so there you go take with that take from that to what you will but let's continue with the video and then Pevensey Castle is said to have been a very old castle and there it is with brick in it I'm not sure if it's like mended or that's actually a pattern and it might be maybe on this castle it's more in the outside wall but it's still in the wall but then also Donington Castle which I'm going to put a couple of pictures in in a minute that is also mended with brick so you'd have to probably say the castles were there first and then men and Donington was mended by brick but these have brick in them see that's just the same as the castle from yesterday and that was a Saxon one and this one's a Roman one and that looks like here's the gatehouse like at Donington obviously this one's bigger Yes, for as far as your eyes can see, they are brick in the brick. And this is referred to as a Roman castle. There, look. Oh, let's just zoom in. Maybe that's a little bit blurry, but it says Pevensey, Roman, Fort and Castle. So it doesn't actually tell you when the castle is. It just says Pevensey, Roman, Fort and Castle. I'll show you where Pevensey Castle <coughs> is in a moment. I'll show you on a map of England where this one is. Different kinds of stuff in there. It's like you've got flints and you've got brick block or stone blocks anyway there's Donington Castle mended with brick there you go in the middle it's mended with brick as well it's just mended in places with brick and then back to Pevensey Castle with those stone blocks or bricks and then flints You can see different in there, can't you? I just find it fascinating. What are we really looking at? It's all destroyed, whatever it was, and abandoned, isn't it? Abandoned and now destroyed. 